Hey guys, welcome back to more Undersea Adventures with LP Weaver. And this is how I suggest you get on the dolphin. You just click, uh, you keep clicking the grab on button. And you just hope it grabs onto you. And eventually it'll take you up that current. And once it does, it'll ditch you over here. And this is the sunken ship, and this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, one of the most annoying parts of Atlantis is getting that dolphin to cooperate with you. But, it took me a while, actually. Some people recommend you clear out all the enemies in that area I was just in. Huh? What are you looking at, Sora? Oh, that's the switch behind the ship. Okay. But some people recommend taking out all the enemies. But that takes forever, because they just keep spawning over and over again. And those big jellyfish take forever to kill. So I just suggest you follow the dolphin around. Until there's that like split second where, we're, where you're away from all enemies. And the command bar turns blue again. And that's when you can grab on. And then he'll just take you over here. What is that? I wonder. I love this part, it's so atmospheric. Brace yourself! <laughs> I love that. That caught me completely by surprise when I first played. That was like horror movie stuff, man. I tell you. Sharks slowly coming up. Reminds me of something. I wonder what that something is. Uh, there's a con conch. What a shell? What the fuck? Conch? What's a conch? I know that's something. I think that's just another word for shell, right? Conch. Yes. I remember Lord of the Flies. The boys had a conch that they would blow into and talk to the other one. Anyways, um, shark. This shark is actually hella hard to beat. Because he doesn't get stunned while you're hitting him. So while you're doing your combo, he can just bite you. I actually managed to take him out pretty easily. Look, he also does a lot of damage. Thank God we have it. Freeze to the face. Fancy finishers. It's my trademark. Don't forget. That gets rid of him for now. He's like the leopard, jaguar, cougar. To this day, I don't know what that thing was. <laughs> uh, he's like that from the Tarzan world where he'll keep popping up every once in a while. So you go back to Calm Deaths. There's the stream. Later on you can move up the stream however much you desire. But that's after a pretty hard boss. Did I get this yet? That's the thing with these shells. You can't tell if you've gotten what's in them. Well, I should actually go over there and check. How come when I swim away, the enemies go away? And then, uh, whatever. Just follow the tribes. Or they will lead you home. What the heck? He's already here. I think this time is where he rapes me. I remember him raping me. What is the shark's name? I know the Jaguar Sabor. I will call him Toothy for lack of a better name. Look at this! He bites me, then he tail smacks me, and I almost died right there, and I still haven't died. Don't forget that. When will I die? Who knows? Stop biting me! Smacking me! Ah. Oh, we have Ariel this episode, I don't think we had her last time. Whatever. Ariel's actually really good. 
He's got an attack that reminds me yeah, that, that hits a bunch of times. Reminds me of Donald's tornado attack. Get out of here. swims away. But she's got an attack like that, then she can cast arrow and cure on you. And I think she has thunder, which kind of sucks for her because uh, most enemies here are immune to thunder. This is where you should have actually gone the first time, instead of going down that jet. Just gonna ignore these enemies. That's the smart thing to do when you're recording. I hate the big jellyfish. Although, no, honestly, the jellyfish is a cool art list. It'd be cool if it had like lightning attacks. Of course, that'd make him pretty damn hard. So, going back to her grotto, where we can enter and leave as we please. Cutscene. Ariel, you've disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! How could you? Jeez, what a joy kill. Kill joy, right? That's the phrase, kill joy. I, f I sound Young really man, dumb, this commentary. You're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be nah. the key bearer. How did you know? Don't you have squid, ducks, You may fool Ariel, and but you can't fool me. You, you don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer. We've meddled in every single affair of every single world ruin. we've been to. Oh, Sora's not uh. like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. My, my, the poor child suffers such deep These suffering. things, voices, jeez. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes, maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. That's what I can help. This doesn't sound sinister at all. You called, my dear? You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. <sighs> now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. <laughs> huh? Now listen carefully. Well, nothing else to do here. Hello, just kidding. I'm gonna look around like an idiot. Cause that's what I do, I waste time, guys. It's video 33, you should know that by now. <sighs> Heartless. We still haven't seen the final 
regular Heartless for this world. It's a pretty cool one. Crap, where do I go now? Don't I go to the palace? Uh, this isn't good. No, this is not good. Be right back. 